I think I figured out the one and only reason that for me or, or many people would want to have this Chatamo adapter. And we're going to go through this whole concept of using Chatamo adapters at different networks, specifically the Petro Canada network. But first of all, I need a coffee. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. I'm Ryan from Rocky Mountain Tesla, and today we're sharing the data because it's electrifying. We are heading out to Alderside to meet a family. We're just gonna exchange some stuff when we're at the Petro Canada, and while we're doing that, we might as well charge so that we have a fairly full battery by the time we get home because we don't have charging at home just yet. And I'm gonna talk about the Petro Canada network and some of the good reasons to get this Chatamo adapter for a Tesla. So we just made it to the PetroCan EV fast charge network here in Alderside, Alberta. Let's park and get charged. So something interesting here is that it is only charging one vehicle at a time at the station. So I don't know if that means that two people can even charge here, one on each parking spot. Anyway, let's get plugged in and started. So I had to start the session before I plugged in, uh, but it doesn't look like it's actually charging. Oh, there it goes. Here we go. Listen to that. And once again, we're having issues. What to do? So the thing I always do to get the battery warm enough since it doesn't seem to allow you to actually set the destination to this charging station to warm up the battery, what I do is always warm up the car beforehand without us in the car. It's a common trick. I actually just set it at a temperature that I know it's pretty much only heating the battery and let it warm up for about half an hour. And then by the time we're here, we're getting this decent rate of charge. So how big is this Petro Canada EV network? So if we go into this Petro Canada EV app, you can find EV chargers on the network all across Canada. So it is a pretty big network. It is also fairly finickety plugging in here. So what I'm really hoping for is that Tesla creates this CCS adapter and then that will actually be a lot easier because it should give us better charging speeds and all of the EV charging stations at the Petro Canada's are all both Chatamo and CCS. So that would probably be the best solution. And there are Petro Canada stations across Canada. They're everywhere. So this network has a, a chance to be even bigger than the Tesla network if they do their job right at Petro Canada. So I'm just looking at the app and I'm going to share a screenshot of this as well. And the number of stations is just kind of mind boggling. Uh, even when you filter on DC fast charging in the app, they are all across Canada. And like I said, it will only get bigger because there are gas stations everywhere as long as they keep on expanding it. Well, it looks like we're about halfway there and it appears the app is a little bit behind. It's saying we're at 63% and the car's at 64. It is charging uh, as quickly as I would expect when the battery is at this state of charge. I have never once seen it at 50 kilowatts. And there it goes, it updated. I've never seen it once at 50 kilowatts. Uh, like I've mentioned in previous videos, it does have to do other things. It has to potentially keep heating the battery to get it at the right temperature for optimal charging and you know if the car is being warmed up that's another thing i'll make sure that the cabin is completely warm uh, before we leave 
you will see that you're only getting charged for exactly the amount of time you were charging. So even if you have some difficulty getting connected and getting started, at least you don't have to worry about getting charged for something you're not using yet. Yeah, all well done, 93%. So what can we say about the Petrocan network? Well, it's great in theory, but there's still a lot of bugs to fix. You shouldn't have to restart your session multiple times. You should also get charged for exactly what you're using. That was nice to be able to get a bit of a cheaper charge because it stopped charging me at 70%. So I got 70% to 93% free, but there's no record of it to show that I should have been charged. The app, the solution should get better over time. I'm not discounting it, it will get better over time. Most of, most of these things do, especially when you invest in this big of a charging network like Petro Canada did. So if you wanna check out a few more videos on the channel about charging, check out this playlist up here. And don't forget to subscribe.